Okay, for uh, 52, it says a 6 by 8 inch rectangle is inscribed in the circle as shown below. What is the area of the circle in square inches? All right, so here's what we have to do here. Notice that the diagonal, the diagonal of the rectangle is actually the diameter of the circle. Well, if this is 6, then this is 6. So what I have here is I have a right triangle with two side lengths of uh, 6 and 8. And so the diagonal, which is really the diameter of the circle, is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So I can figure that out by saying a squared plus b squared equals c squared, remembering that c squared or C is the hypotenuse of the triangle, and the hypotenuse of a right triangle is always across from the 90 degree angle. We'll let this equal A, we'll let this equal B. And so I say six squared plus eight squared should equal my hypotenuse squared. This is 36 plus 64 should equal C squared. So C squared equals 100, but if I take the square root of both sides, this just becomes C, and the square root of 100 is 10. So C equals 10, but really that's the diameter of the circle. You guys with me so far? So now it says, what is the area of the circle? Oh, area, that formula calls for radius. Well, that's okay. The radius goes from here to here, which is exactly one half of 10. So the radius is equal to phi. So the area of a circle is pi r squared or pi five squared. And so 25 pi. Did you guys figure that out? How many of you guys got that correct? Oh, how many of you guys got a little stumped on that one? It's okay. Now you know, right? Are there any questions? Yes? Wait. I didn't wear a phone. Since, since the um, rectangle, one, one of the sides goes all the way through the edge of the circle, isn't the, isn't the circumference like, like four instead? The diameter has to go through the center of the circle. That's one of the things we talked about yesterday, right? So any chord, like, so so I'm not quite sure if I'm answering your question or if your statement is what I, I might be misunderstanding what you're saying. This is not a diameter because it doesn't go through the center of the circle, all right? But considering it measures all the way across, it's, it should be the same even goes through the center. It's not the same. It's not the same. I could even, I, I'll even verify that for you. So watch, watch what I'm about to do. I'm going to, well, let me, let me make a little room here. If I take There's one line, here's the other line, right? And let's do one more. All right, now I have three lines, all of them touch both sides of the circle. Now if I pull them out, there's this line, I'll pull it, well, let me slide this over a little bit so it's out of the way. So these are the three lines of the, of the circle. Now both of these touch the circumference of the, or all three of them touch the circumference of the circle. However, if I rotate that one around, you can see that it's longer. Okay, so they're not all the same length. They're not all the same length. Does that make sense? And so because they're not all the same length, I, clearly you can't just pick any, uh, I can't just arbitrarily pick any 
um, any two lines on the graph. In other words, just because they touch here and here, right, that's a chord, right? We said that yesterday, that's a chord. Well, this is also a chord, and by definition, a chord is really just a line that goes from one side of the circle to the other. But the, diff the diameter is a very special chord because the diameter goes through the center. And because the rectangle is inscribed on the circle, right, because it's inscribed on the circle, um, it just so happens that that diagonal, because the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent and they happen to be at the center of the rectangle as well. But since the rectangle is perfectly centered in within the circle, then the intersection of those diagonals uh, are also the center of the circle. And that's the longest chord of a circle, right? So, yeah, the answer is still uh, H, but that, that's a good point. I'm glad that we talked about that. Now, this information is still helpful. This is helpful, this is helpful, but it does, it's, not, it's not helpful in finding the area of the circle other than it helped us to calculate the length of the diameter. Does that make sense? Okay.